Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Gary Kasparov and John Spielman that was played in the World Cup in Barcelona in 1989. And where is Barcelona? Barcelona is the capital of Catalonia and the second largest city in Spain after Madrid. In this game Gary Kasparov had white pieces and he started with d4. Spielman played d6, e4, g6, c4, and e5. Spielman plays modern defense. Knight to f3, pawn takes pawn on d4, knight takes on d4, bishop to g7, knight to c3, knight to c6, attacking knight on d4. Bishop to e3, defending. Knight from g to e7. And now, at move 8, h4. Kasparov goes for the throat. h6. And Kasparov continued with bishop to e2. Why not h5? If h5, then black would play g5. So, bishop to e2. And now, f5. Black is fighting fire with fire. Pawn takes pawn. Knight takes on f5. Knight takes knight. And bishop takes knight. Queen to d2. Is Kasparov going to castle queenside? What do you think? Black played queen to d7. Now black will have a choice. He can castle a king side or queen side. It is Kasparov to move. And he castled king side. Spielman castled queen side. And now we are going to have very interesting battle. Black is not without a chance. On the first look, black king looks safer than white king. What do you think? It is white to move. How would you continue if you had white pieces? Well, Kasparov played b4, sacrificing pawn for speedy attack on the black king and to open the file. Knight takes on b4. Knight to b5, knight to c2, attacking rook. And first move that comes to mind is rook to b1. Or maybe knight takes on a7. But Kasparov played bishop to f3, and bishop is now aiming at b7, and that confused his opponent. Black could have continued with knight takes rook, but he was worried about queen to a5. So in this position, he played d5. Kasparov captured pawn with bishop. Knight takes rook. Knight takes on a7, check. King to b8. And queen to b4 threat is checkmate. On b7, black is lost. He would like to play c6, but it doesn't work because then knight takes on c6, check. If king to c8, check. King to b8, check. King to a8, Knight to b5, that is queen to a4 or queen to a5 check. So in this position, black decided to depart with his queen. He captured bishop on d5. Pawn takes queen, knight to c2 attacking queen. So for his queen, black has two pieces, bishop and rook, but that is not enough. Queen to a5. 
knight takes bishop, pawn takes knight, rook from h to e8, knight to b5, rook takes pawn, pinning knight, queen takes on c7 check, king to a8, and queen to a5 check. And in this position, black resigned. Black could have continued with king to b8. Then we would have this continuation. Check, king to c8, check, king to d7, queen takes pawn. If king goes to d8, then queen to c7 checkmate. So king to e6, and now knight to c7 is winning, so is queen to c6 check. If king goes to e7, queen takes rook on d5. If king goes to e5, then queen takes rook on e8. And this is lost for black. That's why at move 25, black resigned. And this beautiful attack started with which move? It started after castling when Kasparov in this position played b4. Kasparov makes it look easy, doesn't he? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.